Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at thread milling. Now, the thread milling operation is located on the left-hand side of the screen within the main toolbar. Just come down here underneath the cam category and left-hand mouse click on stock tool pass. And here's the threading operation right here. Now, you can use this threading operation for both external and internal thread milling. I'm going to grab this just by left-hand mouse clicking. And now when CNC wants us to determine the location of the thread mill, you can digitize endpoints or circles. I'm going to just grab this circle here and left hand mouse click. Once we're done selecting, just right hand mouse click. And just like with all of our other machining operations within 1CNC, you have your select tool dialog box. This is where you can manually describe a tool if you'd like. And as you do so, you can see the graphics update up here. Or you can pick a tool from the library by simply clicking on the graphic or clicking on Tool Changer. So I'm going to left hand click on Tool Changer. We'll click on the Library tab. I'm just going to come down here in the submenu and grab Thread Mill. Here's all the different tools available. I'm going to grab this single pitch Thread Mill and click OK. Let's make this turret position number 4. I'm going to make the RPM how about 2800. And I'm going to say that looks good for our feed rates. Here's our clearances dialog box. We have our rapid plane set at half an inch. We have our plunge clearance set to 50 thousandths. That's where it's going to start uh, helical thread milling down. We've got our material Z top set to zero and our thread depth set to minus 1.1. All right, so within the thread mill options, let's first take a look at style. This is where you can determine whether it's an internal or external thread. I'm going to go with internal. Your thread type, you can select between right or left. I'm going to go with left. And under direction, I'm going to select top to bottom. Now up here, you've got your different thread forms. You can click on this button and select any form you'd like. These guys that are grayed out, these are relative to what units you're currently using. I'm set up in inches, so these are grayed out. That doesn't mean you can't select one of these. Uh, if you do select one of these, one CNC will convert to inches for you. You can also select on the More button, and you can select different forms here as well. All right. Let's come down a little bit farther. Here's our pitch. Our pitch is set to uh, 0 0.0625. I'm going to leave it set to that, but I want to point out you can type in whatever you'd like for the pitch. I'm going to put it back to 0 0.0625. You've got your adjustment. The adjustment actually makes the thread a little bit more loose. I've simply put, if I put in two thousandths, that means that the thread's going to be two thousandths more loose, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to put this back to zero, though, for that. The start angle, that's where the thread's going to start. Uh, cutting or start threading and that works with your standard coordinate system with zero over here at three o'clock 90 degrees 180 270 so zero the threads gonna start cutting right here at three o'clock I'm gonna leave that set to zero you've got your major and minor diameter uh, when we look at these we have to look at whether we're cutting an internal or external thread uh, and it, an internal thread we're gonna be actually cutting to the major diameter alright so this is what we want to put in for our major diameter. If we're cutting an external thread, if I click here, we're going to be cutting to the minor diameter. All right. Also note too that if you select one of these forms up here, one CNC will fill this information out for you. But because I have custom, I need to fill this in. So because I'm using an internal thread here, I want to specify this major diameter. That's where we're going to cut. And I have this at set at 1.65, but of course you can type in whatever you want. The minor diameter is this diameter right here and all that looks good. I'm not worried about engagement or taper angle right now. We'll leave those alone. Um, no spring cuts for this, but if you wanted to, you could specify a spring cut. This is like a cut increment. Uh, so if you have spring cuts of three and you have a depth of 10 thousandths, it will actually make three passes, each pass taking 10 thousandths off till it finally gets to the, to the diameter that you've specified up here. I'm gonna say none for that. All this looks good, so we'll click Next. And here's your lead in and lead out. I'm going to say all these guys look great, so we'll click finish on that. And there we go. There is our thread milling operation. Now what I'm going to do now is let's simulate this. I don't want to simulate all these machining operations, so I'm going to turn these first two operations off just by left clicking and changing those to off. Now if I simulate, if I preview, even if I create a CNC program, one CNC is going to ignore these first two operations. So I'm going to right hand mouse click that and let's go with simulate. That looks good. We're going to pick a boundary. Uh, we're going to pick this outside boundary for our stock. I'm going to say all that looks good. Top of the stock's at zero, bottom of the stock's at minus one inch. And we'll just left hand click that stock and then right hand mouse click. So there is the uh, thread right there. There's your thread milling.
I'll zoom in on that so you can see it a little bit better. And pull this down and I'll rotate that around a little bit. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.